Fire the blaze continues to burn and take homes along with it. Right now, 135 homes have been lost and more than 6,300 acres have been charred. Welcome back to Good Day Colorado, everyone. I'm Melody Mendez. And I'm Mike Hedrick. Good to have you along this Thursday morning. Over the last few days, we have been keeping a very close eye on the conditions for the critical air attack on the Four Mile Fire. Dan DeRue is live at the Rocky Mountain Airport this morning. And Dan, there are concerns today about the weather or the planes will take off. What do you know? What are you hearing? Well, here the thing—the thing is, uh, Mel and Mike, weather is 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 the trump card here. If the weather is good enough to fly, which it looks like it's going to be today, we're going to know about nine o'clock if the air tankers are in fact going to fly. It looks like they're going to. But when the weather is good, that means it's not good for the fire itself because if there are high winds and it's a nice sunny day and it's warm, which is good for air tankers to fly, but not good for firefighting. Uh, yesterday they only ran about 17 runs, seven in the morning, 10 after in the afternoon, but then they had to stop because of high humidity, which is good to fight the fire but not good to fly in. Uh, and uh, Mark Michelson, you're the manager here at the Jeffco Air Tanker Base. So we're going to know about 9 o'clock uh, if it's going to go or not. Yeah, a little bit, little after 9 o'clock, we should have a better understanding of what we're going to do here for this morning. And of course, what the air tankers do is they drop their slurry or fire retardant, and we see it all, we see the video all the time. And well, let's make a distinction. We guys want to show you something right now. They don't actually drop the fire retardant on the fire, which a lot of people might think, including right. myself. The, the, the goal is is to establish fire lines to prevent the fire from spreading or going further. We're going to do a little demonstration for you right now. Okay. Here is some fire retardant right now. Essentially, a fertilizer-based liquid that uh, will, will be diluted, one to five to one, I guess, yeah, with water. One. Yep. And uh, in, uh, tankers will carry up to 2,000 to 2,500 gallons over the fire. Now, let's look at this. Here's a little demo before we light it, Mark. Sure. Uh, this, here's a piece of paper, eight by 10. And this simulates perhaps homes, homes. structures, buildings, uh, uh, stables. And this, we applied some of the fire retardant about five or 10 minutes ago. So I'm just gonna light it right now. Okay. And uh, I want you to tell me what we're looking at here and how this actually works, Mark. Okay, what it's actually doing is as, the, as the, the fire spreads, what it has a tendency to do is once it hits the fire line, you'll see parts of the edge of, the, of it will kind of cook off a little bit. You might see some discoloration. Uh -huh. And depending on if, if like on this one right here, mm -hmm. in a more... In well, a, per, in a perfect and, and world, just like, like yeah. it, but just like in real life. But just right like in real life. Um, if if the, the fire behavior is too much, the line, you know, may hold, it may not hold. Mm -hmm. But um, in theory, if you're just on the... Mm -hmm. On this piece of paper, since mm -hmm. it's flat, um, it'll burn up to the, the fire line and eventually will just hold the fire and just stop. So in, in a less perfect world, when you're dumping in like mountainous terrains with trees and bushes and driveways and homes, it's, it's going to be you know, a little bit different, you know, based instead of our little experience, uh, experiment here this morning. But it, it, it's a good example to show that it's nothing is 100% foolproof. I yeah, mean, exactly. you could put a line down, that's not going to guarantee it. Now, this first one, some of it crossed the line, some did not. So, and here's another one right here as well. And we just mm -hmm. applied this stuff. How long does the uh, fire retardant will it remain effective? Uh, it will remain effective anywhere between uh, two and four hours once the uh, moisture component's out of it, coating the fuels. Uh -huh. And it could last even longer as long as we can get ground fire crews on it as quick as possible. All right, well, listen, that's a great tool in the fight. It's just a tool. It's yeah, not It's, just it's not tool. the It's not the million dollar answer to fighting fires. It's just a tool. And right. we will know about what, nine o'clock if it's gonna? Yeah, I'd say between uh, nine and 9.30, uh, we'll kind of get a better understanding what's going on. I'll try to keep you guys updated. Pretty interesting stuff. Mel and Mike, we're gonna toss it back to you. Interesting stuff, isn't it? Yeah, Dan, that was just a great demonstration. I've never seen anything like that. And that, that perfectly illustrates exactly what they're trying to do out there. And even when the fire jumps the line, sometimes it's not always effective. So thank exactly. you so much. That was a great demonstration for us.